Hi, my name is John Probst. I'm the uh, Shelby County Operations Chief. My call sign is Kila Alpha 8, Romeo Victor India, and we're going to be doing a training on our Go Box kits. Good. Okay, guys, we're going to have some training here on our Go kits. As you can see, we have five of them, and when you open these things up, one of the important things is you want to look at how everything is laid out in your kit. Uh, this particular kit does not have the coax laying in here. It's in the antenna tube. The other four do have the coax, and I'm going to step over here. The coax should always be rolled up in about a diameter like that. You don't want to get it too small, otherwise it gets to be looking in a big bunch. Then your lid don't close. When the lid closes, it's, it was critically measured that the lid is going to come really close to this here, so we always want to make sure everything, like the books or anything, is over on this side. Otherwise, it's going to put pressure on the radio. So always want to make sure to kind of get an idea how it's laid out so you can put it back. Another critical thing is the power to the radio has to be unplugged, and the power from the battery has to be unplugged. So nothing can be plugged in, otherwise it will drain the battery. These radios continuously draw even though they are off. So anyway, when you get it out, you want to set it up, take your cord, and plug it into the wall. So you take your cord, you plug it in, and if it was left properly, you'll hear the fan come on. Now these are wired that if you lose power, and we'll show you here by unplugging it out of the wall, you can hear the fan, it's going to run a little bit, but the fan is going to die. So that's the way it's wired, so you're cooling, but you're not running your power supply in there. You don't need it, so you don't need the cooling. So it's designed that it'll shut off. So let's plug this back in here. The fan kicks on. This top switch here actually does shut the fan off, but you do want the fan to run. So that is the top switch there. So you have that running, you want to take your power supply cable, which comes out of the hole here, put it on the DC in on your rig runner, and then plug your radio in. Keep it on the uh, higher amperage, don't use the 5, use the 25. So now your radio has power going to it, and you can turn it on. So before we turn it on, let's connect an antenna to it here. set up. So now we can turn the radio on. Okay, you're going to find a couple other things in here. One that's very important is the District 3 emergency operating frequencies, which we uh, program all these to have all the District 3 operating frequencies. They're grouped by county, and then your channel over here is set up, and you'll see some of them that are repeated because some of the counties use the uh, same frequency. So they're all grouped together by county, and then your frequency number is here, but most of all, your uh, channel number is here. Now if you notice, Montgomery has some in parentheses. If Montgomery County was to borrow these, then they would have their uh, channel in parentheses for their, uh, for their operations in Montgomery County. The other thing is a comms log, an ICS-309. These are the two things that you will use if you operate this go kit. So, let's get on with the radio here. And if you need a light, you can plug this in. Okay, when you turn it on, you have your VFO and your memory MR, memory recall. You want to make sure that it's on MR because that will give you all the pre-programmed frequencies in there. So, 
as you can see here, here is your channel number. And we'll take it back to channel 1, which is 146835. Now, this here, if you noticed, is the PTT and the control. So in other words, if I was to key up the radio, you can see it there. That is on the A band. Now, if I want to go to the other B band, I simply push this button. The PTT and the control moves to this band. And let's take this in here to down to about I think channel two. Four four three two hundred. You can see it's on there. Okay. Now the PTT and the control are on the same band. If you want to separate those, you take your PF2 button and push that. So your PTT is still on 443200. And as you can see here, nothing is changing on 443200. But I was able to control A band on 146835, and I can change the frequency or the channel on there. But I'm still push to talk on 443200. Okay, the PF1 button is uh, takes you to the weather. Let's move this over here. And we probably won't be able to receive that in here. But anyway, if you hit your PF1 button, that actually brings up your weather frequencies, which are pre-programmed push your MR to take it back out into your memory mode. Uh, one thing that I have programmed on this radio, I've changed it, it's not a factor setting, you've got to go in and change it, is if you want to directly enter a frequency in here, you would hit VFO. Then you would hit D on the mic. You can see there, it cleared it out. And then we can type in or punch in directly. One, four, six, eight, three, five, and it automatically went in. Now to set your tones, you would have to go in and hit tone, and then you would have to hit tone select, which you have to hit your function first. And you can see there by hitting function, and then you want to see tone select there, you hit that button. Then you can take it up to the tone that you need and hit your tone again and you're set on the uh, selecting and entering a frequency as well as a tone. It's still on BFO. We want to go back to MR, MR which is meant to recall. And there you're back to your 443200. So obviously by pushing this, we'll just kind of go through here, pushing that moves your push to talk and your control to your A band. Pushing the right button on your B band moves your push to talk and your control back to that B band. Okay, one thing uh, that you need to know here is if you want to change it from the reading out of the frequency to the call sign of the repeater, you just momentarily hit your tuning button. And as you can see there, it went to KZUK and AA8OF. Hit it again, takes it right back, 146835, 443200. Okay, a couple other things about this uh, Go Kit. We have two 12 volt outlets here. To make these actually work, you have to turn your breaker on with your light being on, and then you, those are active. Which breaker? Which breaker? The lower breaker, the very bottom one. The two middle ones are, uh, nothing's attached to those at this point. So you can turn them on, turn them off, nothing's going to happen. So. Um, some of them have. I think this one here has the field resource manual for the uh, AWRL. 
and we need to update these here, but they'll have a repeater directory in it as well. Uh, a couple of them you'll notice had you signal link USB, that will be covered in another uh, video. We'll go over that as well as the uh, cross banding and a few other features. So we'll do it in bite size. So that should be it. When you go to put it back, like I said, remember to make sure you, uh, if you don't have the case, make sure that you put it in a nice big loop. Lay everything on the left side of the kit. That way when it closes, this here is actually going to lay right on top of there. So we don't want to put pressure on the radio. And then make sure your whole seal around the outside is completely clear. If it don't feel like it's closing right, you know, leave it kind of where it's at and look in. Make sure it's all clear. And other than that, that's pretty much the basics.